You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. All right, welcome back. Time to talk a little NBA playoff talk. Let's do it. So many games this weekend. We're about halfway through the first round, and here's a look at the current bracket. The Bucks have advanced after sweeping the Heat. Tyrese Maxey has averaged around 10 minutes a game in his first playoff series with the Sixers. They lead 3-0 over the Wizards. Mavs Clippers and Nuggets Trailblazers all tied up at two apiece. Brooklyn, well, they got Brad Stevens reconsidering the Indiana job. They're uh -oh, up 3-1 to one on the Celtics, and the league's best record team, the Utah Jazz taking care of John Morant and the Grizzlies. They're up two to one. Game four will be tonight. And our Kentucky Knicks are struggling mm -hmm. down three one to the Hawks. Got a bit of a hole to climb out of. The league's most improved player, Julius Randle, has struggled in the series. Yes. After averaging 24, 10, and 6 over the regular season, his points and assists both down this series. Julius is averaging 17 points, 11 boards, and 4 assists this postseason. I'm just trying to stay even kill. Um, I get encouraged by learning um, because it's only going to make me better. Uh, last year, coming from what I came from, and the experience of uh, last season and come back this season was a learning experience. This whole postseason thing is going to be a learning experience. Um, and I'll, I'll come back better and be better next game um, for however long we play. So uh, it's not over. <laughs> it's, not, it's not nearly over. Uh, come back, like I said, game five and uh, take it from there, man. You know what? This is not an excuse, but something to keep in mind when it comes to Julius. This is his first playoff. Yeah. That's hard to believe. Leave him alone. You know, he was previously with the Lakers, with the Pelicans. <laughs> so maybe he'll shake it off and come back for game five, ready to find the basket, maybe some teammates. <laughs> I trust his headspace because you don't become most improved by getting caught up on poor performances. Exactly. All right. The defending champ Lakers, they couldn't capitalize on a 2-1 series lead. Totally fine with me. Not the biggest LeBron fan. Devin Booker <laughs> and the Phoenix Suns tied things up last night at two games apiece setting up a huge game five and Frank Vogel might be without Anthony Davis for this game already a little hobbled coming into the game with a hyper extended left knee Davis landed awkwardly and injured his groin in the second quarter and would not return yeah well, he's one of the best players in the world so you know you have to adjust and um, you know I thought we uh, we gave great effort in trying to overcome that loss but um, you know certainly wasn't uh, wasn't enough if one of your you know focal points go down and uh, obviously you know, that was uh, big for our team and being able to try to adjust on the fly after having a game plan was, was challenging for us. And, uh, but more importantly, you know, the health of AD is what's most important for our, for our ball club. All right, Anna, if AD isn't healthy, do the Lakers even have a shot? Um, yes. Anytime LeBron James is on your team, you have a shot, especially if you've gone to nine playoffs in the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. He never count LeBron out. <sighs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Just like we I disagree said, he, on that, yeah, by just, the way. We'll talk about that after. Flops a little too much for me. <laughs> All right, don't switch over to tonight's playoff games just yet. We've got more BBN tonight right after the break.